<laughs> Bit of action, I've put a feeding block in today to try and really encourage the fox face to come out. It's, uh, it seems to come out just before lights out and goes to this very far left hand corner. But in the morning he's back under there, under uh, Wembley Stadium. So I put the block in and as you can see, first thing to find it was an Asarius snail. Fred, the neon pygmy baslet, uh, found it as well, had a little chew of it, thought okay, and then nipped at the Nasarius snail as though to say, no, that's not for you. The clowns have had a look but not bothered with it. I have had part of these blocks in before, but not on the glass, on, on the ground for the Nasarius snails as part of their food package. There's Fred. Seems almost to stay beside the fox face and so to say, come on, come on out, come on out. It's fine, because of course Fred's tank bred and I don't think the fox face is. You can see the fox face is changing colour again. He's losing his, he's going pale. He's a little bit uh, unsure. The conch, back again, lost him for a few days. He was well buried. When the goby was making goby towers, he was throwing sand all over the place and the, the, go, the, um, the conch was underneath. Wembley Stadium and he was getting covered up and we thought well he's going to be there until he can get himself out but obviously he'd gotten himself out moved around and he was actually about eight inches behind where he is now under the sand bed I've got another quick uh, vlog I'll upload of that as well as part of this but I'm sorry his snail's really getting it together fox face has had a nibble at a couple of the rocks very very close to him but nothing else He's very timid still. My idea is apart from this grazer, and I've got lots of this, these blocks to be used, and I hope they do get used to using them, is also to get some mastic and put that on there, on the glass, in a lump, and that's also very good, I understand. Oh, there goes Fred again, have another little look. Excellent. I fed mice this this morning. They don't particularly like mice, shrimp. Most of them ignore it. A couple of them will have a nibble. But they certainly aren't enthusiastic um, as they are when I put the um, enhanced brine shrimp in, enhanced with things like omega-3 and spirulina. Even the fox ace had some of that. I want them to get used to this block. I know it will take a little while but if they can get used to eating from this type of block as well uh, it means they can eat more at their leisure because so I can leave it in there for a few hours before the lights out etc. the flame scooter. He's out and about a lot more now as well. Favouring the left hand side he seems to be finding food. He's going to nip him again. There we go. Get off. <laughs> He's a character. At least the Nasarius snail's had a, I don't know, a couple of good chomps at it now. and the, uh, the fox face actually ate it, so that's very good, very happy with that. Well done Fred. Naming the uh, Midas Blenny Ginger, Fred and Ginger. He's got his spot up here, he's definitely, that's his bed. 
He's hovering around it now, literally just below that goniopora. There he goes. That's his slot. So hopefully he'll be coming out shortly as well.